hey hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to life in your blueprints in this video i will just discuss about gold it's hard to resist the appeal of gold which shines so bright and has been a symbol of riches for individuals and countries since time immemorial but as of now in 2024 is it a good decision to buy gold of course it's a good decision to buy gold because gold is a safe haven after the recent budget the gold prices has come down in india there is a deduction at the custom duty from 15 percent to 6 percent so now if you want to invest in gold there are three ways available for us let's know how we can invest in gold first option is buying gold ETFs. There are lots of gold ETFs available in your broker app like the Axis Gold ETF, Brilla Sun Life Gold ETF, ICICI Prudential Gold ETF and many more. There's a big advantage of buying it. In case of gold ETF, you have full control of when to buy, when to sell. There is also another benefit in buying gold ETF after the budget. Long term capital gain tax is reduced from 20% with indexation to 12.5% without indexation. Second option is SGBs, Sovereign Gold Bonds. This has a great advantage because in case of long term capital gain, you have to pay zero tax on maturity. The second advantage is you will get 2.5% of interest annually on your gold value. But there are two drawbacks also. This investment comes within a lock-in period of five years. If you break your investment before the lock-in period, then there are some charges like breaking FD before maturity. The second drawback is that you will have no control over the prices of gold. At the time of maturity, if the gold prices are higher, then you will have benefit. But if the gold prices are lower, you will get that price only. The third option of buying gold is buying physical gold. Only people with lots of black money concentrate on buying physical gold. According to Central Board of Direct Taxation, married women can keep up to 500 grams of gold. Unmarried women can keep up to 250 grams of gold. But men can keep up to only 100 grams of gold without taxation. There is no legal limit of keeping gold in your house actually if you pay your taxes from time to time and in apparent manner but there are some drawbacks of buying physical gold if you buy the physical gold in the form of jewelry then there are making charges there is a risk of purity also which you cannot determine and the most risk lies in the fact that storing it properly it's a lustrous and valuable metal and there is a chances of being theft or people may target you. To manage the storage problem, you can rent a locker in a bank. Still, you can see you are paying some extra charges. Another drawback of buying physical gold is that you are not going to get any interest or dividend on your gold value. You will only have the benefit of price appreciation. Whereas, sovereign gold bonds give you a 2.5% of interest annually on your gold value. So, let me know in the comment section what are your decisions regarding investing in gold if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you are new here subscribe my channel and don't forget to share it with your family and friends